Hello everybody, this is Ops the Gaming here, and today I will be telling you guys about the audio problem with the Elgato 4KX, which is a brand new game capture that recently released in the year 2024. Now, similarly to previous Elgatos, it has the exact same audio problem, however it might be more prominent these days than it used to be. So if you have just got your Elgato 4KX, you've plugged it into your TV, plugged it into your Xbox, plugged it into your laptop or PC, and you're not receiving any audio, and you can't work out why it's doing it, then I might have a solution. I say might because it could be another problem, but... For me, it was this specific problem. Now, I have a 4K Dolby Atmos TV, so that technically counts as Dolby Atmos slash surround sound, kind of Dolby Digital as well. Now, the Elgato 4K X does not support anything above stereo, so anything Dolby Digital, Dolby Atmos, it does not support. So if you go into your Xbox, and you go to volume and audio output and you have a look at it and you see that it's currently in Dolby Digital so I'll test it for you, you won't hear me hello so you will find that if it's sitting there in Dolby Digital you will not have any audio if it's in DTS Digital Surround Sound you likely won't have any audio if it's in Dolby Atmos for home theatre you likely won't have any audio. However, if you put it to stereo uncompressed, you will find that now your audio works. Why this is? Well, it's because of the fact that the Algeta doesn't support surround sound. But it's very frustrating because for years now people have been complaining about the fact that their Algetas cannot capture surround sound. Now, for me, I'm not too bothered by the fact that it can't capture Dolby Atmos. It would have been nice if it captured it, as obviously I would have recorded it, but it's not the end of the world. It's more of a fact that it doesn't have pass-through, and due to it not having pass-through, it means that whenever you actually play the game yourself, you can't have Dolby Atmos on that device because it won't actually send any audio to the game capture. So to be able to put it in stereo, you have to actually play the game in stereo because there's no pass-through, and that is the frustrating part. However, this is a solution to the problem, so if this has helped you, and you have now got audio, then I'm afraid that this is the only solution for that problem, unless there is one way around it, but it will cost a bit more than just buying an Algeta. The way around it would be to get an HDMI splitter, so then you'd plug your Xbox into that splitter and you would then take one HDMI port and send it out to your TV with the Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, HDR, whatever you want, go into your TV and the other one to the Elgato well sorry, not to the Elgato never mind that then that one would go to an audio extractor you would then extract that Dolby Atmos audio from that HDMI and convert that into 2.0 stereo sound you would then output that stereo sound alongside the 4k video so make sure that both devices support 4k at whatever frame rate you're looking for then you would send that 4k for me 4k 60 frames per second stereo to VL get a game capture then you would output that from the game capture via USB-C to your laptop or PC and that should work however that is getting a bit complicated so if you are not very good with technology you might find that quite difficult however if you follow the instructions of what I've just said exactly and watch it back about five times to make full sense of what I'm saying then that should technically work but I would advise that if you do go down that route that you do your research and make sure that it will actually do what you want it to do. Make sure there's the right frame rate, make sure there's the right video quality. For example, HDR, Dolby Vision, HDR 10 Plus. Make sure that you know what to expect. Make sure that you get the right splitter and the right audio extractor. 
to achieve what you want it to achieve and make sure that you properly think about it before buying because otherwise you'll find yourself buying the wrong device it can be quite complicated but if you do it correctly that should work now for me I'm probably not going to bother trying that because I think I'm just going to put it in stereo and just live with it then recording the thing is that if you're recording with a microphone you'll likely want to wear headphones anyway because otherwise you'll be speaking on the mic whilst you've got a TV audio blasting at you so it's not exactly very good for the microphone anyway however if you're not looking to have a microphone you want just pure quality sound then you could go down that route of getting those devices or you could settle for just having stereo it's up to you really it's cost wise I would just settle with stereo however if you're not bothered by the cost of it then I would recommend out doing some research and investing in getting some of those. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps some of you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe and definitely leave some com comments below if you have any questions. I will try my best to help you if you do have any questions. And for now, peace out.